Welcome back to our AdWords API series. I'm Xerxes, a developer advocate here at Google. In the last episode, we got you all set up to make your first API call. If you made it through all of that, relax. The hard part is over. The rest is a piece of cake. In this episode, we'll take a closer look at the ingredients you need to cook up an AdWords API call. If you haven't seen the AdWords API overview video, click this link here and come back when you're done. Again, we're going to be using the Java client library along with Eclipse, but the concepts are the same for the other language libraries as well. Here's what we'll discuss in this video. Test versus production accounts and application configuration ingredients. So let's get going. In the last video, you created a test MCC account and then a test client account. A test account is an extremely useful tool for trying out API functionality because it won't affect your live ads or charge your account. The test account is also useful for playing around with the AdWords web interface without consequences. When signed into the AdWords web interface, this label reminds you that you are in a test account. Keep in mind that since test accounts don't serve any ads, impressions or cost data will often be zeroed out in reports or API calls. Now, let's dig into the configuration ingredients of an API call. In this video series, we're using a client library to access the AdWords API. So we won't be going into the backend details of how API calls are made. But if you want to know more about SOAP, OAuth 2, and the other plumbing that makes these calls work, check out the basic concepts here. Even when using the client libraries, there are some ingredients you will always need. We set them up together in episode two, but let's recap and explain them a bit more now. Remember, they're all found in your ads.properties file. Developer token. This identifies your application to the AdWords API. Only approved tokens can connect to the API for real AdWords accounts. Pending tokens can connect to test AdWords accounts. Once your token is approved, you can use the same token for requests against all your AdWords accounts, including those that are not linked to the developer token's MTC account. Client ID and client secret. These map your application to a project in the Google Developer Console and are used for OAuth 2. Client Customer ID. This is the account number of the AdWords client account you want to manage via the API. Optionally, it can be left out of the as.properties file and set programmatically. Once your developer token is approved, you can use a real client customer ID here and not just a test one. OAuth 2 access token. If you're using the client library, this will be taken care of for you. If not, take a look at this link to learn about the access token. Refresh token. The client library uses a refresh token to automatically regenerate the OAuth2 access token. We created this by means of utility in the client library in episode two. All right, now you understand all of the ingredients for your first API application. In the next video, we'll look at how code samples will get you started with custom reporting.